What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys some S and D gameplay on the map Warhawk in Call of Duty Ghost. I'm playing with my friend Jordan, and we are just sniping and going to town. So enjoy that in the background. But today's video is going to be about Black Ops 3. Why it's going to be a great competitive game. You know what it's going to do to the audience retention and the audience viewing experience, things like that. So stick around. So first thing is. Why am I even making this video? So the main reason is because I know that a lot of you are probably concerned about the competitive scene and even the public match in general right now because Call of Duty Ghost and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare had some big problems. Um, you know, there were big problems like game modes, um, the game being played too slow, game being played too fast, there was too much craziness going on, the movement was weird, there were major lag issues, things like that, so I know a lot of you are probably a little bit concerned about it, so I want to go over the things and the reasons of why I think this is going to be a really good title. So, first thing is, is that there is a beta, and all of you know this, but the beta is going to be an absolutely amazing thing. It's going to allow them to fix a lot of things that they may not have otherwise fixed because we are going to be able to play the game and tell them what we like and dislike about it. That way, you know, when the game actually finally launches, there will be fixes already. You know, we won't have to go through some of that in initial stuff that's like, oh look, this is way wrong, the movement is wrong, the gun is not balanced properly, things like that. You know, there will still be some things that need to be fixed, but there will be a lot less, so it'll be a much smoother launch. Next thing is, because this title is coming out after Advanced Warfare, they were able to get the movement down a little bit better. You know, swimming is new, so that could take a little bit of tweaking, but as far as the jumping and things like that and the well, wall running is new as well but it's not going to be as difficult to really work that into the game but the jumping and things won't be nearly as insane as advanced warfare so it'll make it more like traditional cod but still speed it up a little bit so that it's a little more fast paced but not too crazy if you get my drift so it'll be just like I don't know, it's just, it, it'll feel like a much better version of traditional Call of Duty, in my opinion. Also, that's in the pros' opinion as well so far. A lot of the pros have been playing the game. Well, all of the pros have been playing the game. And they seem to really like it. They seem to feel like it plays a lot like Black Ops 2. Which is a really good thing, because that was probably my favorite Call of Duty title. And probably the one that I was the best at, just naturally without practice. So, that could be really good for a lot of people, hopefully. Next thing is looking at the game mode. So we actually have three game modes that will be fun to watch and fun to play for most people. So we've got the uplink, hardpoint, and S and D. So that's going to be really good. Next thing is looking at the ping and network settings. If you guys don't know, you can actually look at what your exact ping is at that exact moment, and you can look for ping and lag spikes and all that fun stuff. You can also go into your network settings and adjust things. Also, as far as I know, there are dedicated servers, at least in the beta right now. I've seen some videos on it, and it looks like dedicated servers are a thing, so that'll be good for public matches. Competitively, you know, that's not going to matter so much unless you're just playing Arena because, you know, we've got GBs, so we're going to be playing kids on the West Coast, East Coast, Canada, Mexico, everywhere. So, you know, that'll still be a little bit hectic, but it'll be something to look at. Next thing is looking at some of the Codcaster feature updates. Just little things, really, but it's going to help the viewing experience. So things like looking at the classes easier without blocking out, you know, what's actually going on and everything. So that'll be good. Another thing is the arena mode. That's going to be finally something to look forward to because Clan vs. Clan was a complete disappointment in Call of Duty Ghost. And the rank system within Advanced Warfare really wasn't all that good either. So hopefully Arena will be a lot like League Play from Black Ops 2, and that'll help drive the more casual competitive players to play more. Another thing is the live event viewer. That's going to help drive the audience up because we are going to be able to just kind of easily watch a lot of the main events going on as they happen without you know having to go to all these different websites or actually going to the event in person. So it's going to be really good for that. 
And another thing is looking at the pick and ban. So that is something that you see in a lot of other really big professional games. So things like League of Legends, if you guys watch that at all. And in that, you know, pick and ban is very, very important. Hopefully in Black Ops 3, it will also be just as important where it will really determine how the game is played. And, you know, it'll change from game to game and things will get really crazy. And you really have to put a lot of thought into what you're picking and banning. But we will have to see how that evolves, you know, as far as what the base underlying things that are banned are um, and just kind of how important the picks really become. And then another thing is looking at the definitive player roles. So in Black Ops 3, it's going to be a lot harder to just adjust and randomly play whatever play style you want. So, I mean, because you're going to have a specific specialist that game with a specific ability or weapon and your everything about you is going to be focused around either playing an OBJ slash support role or an anchor slash slayer role so it'll be very hard to switch over so you've really got to get your stuff together and work with your team well you can't just be like oh I'm not slaying this game I'll take over let me do OBJ and you do slayer I mean you can do that still but it will be a lot harder for your team to succeed so that'll be something to look at so yeah, that's why I think Black Ops 3 is going to be a good competitive game. Hopefully you guys agree with me. So as you guys see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.